All right, guys, Mikey here for Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, as the title reads, we're going to do a video on the Maryland muscle machine, Kevin Lavroni. At the 1997 Hungarian Grand Prix, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do this video. And I just want to say, wow, what a performance he put on. It's up there with some of the best performances of all time. I mean, God, does he look fucking good. Because in my opinion, 1997 as a whole was the best year of Kevin Lavroni's career. First off, he did nine shows. Nine shows in 1997. He won them all, except... Obviously, the Olympia, where he placed fourth, which was crazy because my man Kevin Lavroni brought the mass with the class to the 97 Mr. Olympia. He was big, but super ripped, and he places fourth. I don't agree. If anything, he should have placed third. Definitely not Sean Ray. I think Kevin was better than Sean Ray. And you can say Dorian Yates should have never even competed. He was fucking falling apart. So really, you could say Lavroni should have placed second. And then first, I would definitely give to Nasser El Sambadi. I mean, he looked fantastic at the 97 Mr. Olympia where he placed second. He really should have placed first. But, but, bodybuilding politics just really suck. I say it all the time, but I digress. Now, guys, look at this beautiful physique of Kevin Lavroni. Oh, my God. Look at his back. Look at how paper thin his skin is. It's just a thing of beauty. Look at this rear lat spread. He's got veins running across his back. I mean, he's just super duper dry. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And why 1997 was such a good year for Kevin? Because he was big, but he wasn't too big like 1998. Where in my opinion, he was massive, but he lost that crisp conditioning in 1998. I like the 1998 version because he was big, he was fucking massive, but he didn't have that crisp conditioning like 1997. I mean, he did six shows in 1998 as well. And in 1998, I mean, six shows is a lot of shows. And then in 97, nine shows. That's a lot of fucking shows. What a workhorse. What a workhorse. Guys, today... They compete once if they win the Arnold Classic or the Mr. Olympia. Nobody really competes more than three times. But bodybuilding is totally different. It's a totally different sport. I'm sorry, but guys from Lavroni's era were just a different animal. They were machines. They were machines. Absolute machines. But I digress. Man, look at the hands class most muscular. I mean, Kevin Lavroni was fucking on. Not for nothing, this is a Mr. Olympia caliper physique nowadays, any day of the week. I mean, even his chest is super big. He's so vascular, so ripped. Let me know what you guys think. I really want to know what you guys think about this performance. And I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do this video. Uh, you guys have been asking me to do this video, so a lot of you guys have probably seen this video, but it's just unbelievable. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also, Kevin Lavroni came close to winning a couple of Olympias, more than a couple of Olympias, four Olympias in 1992, 95, 2000, and 2002. 1992 and 95 against Dorian and, and uh, 2000 and 2002 against Big King Ronnie Coleman. So he came very close a few times, especially in 92 and 2002. In my opinion, 1992 was his first Mr. Olympia, so it was to be expected. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.